breaking, Putin makes shock Trump announcement. Democrats are still hoping against hope that Robert Mueller, or someone else, will find conclusive proof that Donald Trump actively conspired with Russia in order to win the 2016 election. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently put a lot of these rumors to bed. According to Politico, on Wednesday, President Putin told Russian reporters that he has zero personal relationship with President Trump. President Putin crushed the hopes and dreams of pro-impeachment Democrats while speaking at the Russian Energy Week conference in Moscow. Putin also claimed that he and President Trump have only met once. Still, despite Putin's words, Democrats are likely to continue their campaign against President Trump based on speculation and conjecture. Putin does not necessarily have to be involved, for Mueller and his team could accuse the Trump administration of being comfortable with Russian oligarchs who are only tangentially connected to President Putin. Such was the case with former President Bill Clinton, who had a close working relationship with Russian plutocrats who supported Boris Yeltsin. Also, Democrats can always say that Putin is a liar. Funny enough, they often lie about President Putin. For instance, the oft-heard refrain that Putin murders journalists is guilty of confusing Putin with Chechen strongman Ramzan Kadyrov, whom Putin supports. If supporting oppressive strongmen makes one a killer, then American presidents since the end of World War II have a lot of explaining to do. Putin's comments come at a time when the Trump Russia narrative appears to be losing steam. Although Mr. Mueller's investigation continues on uninterrupted, not as many Democrats are publicly threatening President Trump with impeachment over his supposed collusion with Russia these days. The most recent development in the story concerns the thousands of ads that Russians purchased to be displayed on Facebook. These ads were meant to appeal to both progressive liberals and American conservatives. Thus, the whole point of this campaign was to sow division within the country. From a Russian standpoint, it does not matter which U.S. president holds the office, so long as the country is so consumed with internal matters that it does not play a role in halting Russian expansionism in Europe and Asia. While President Trump did promise to have a better working relationship with Russia, the Kremlin has made deals with Hillary Clinton in the past, therefore, many in the Russian establishment would have been happy with a Clinton victory. Working relationship President Putin and President Trump have collaborated before most notably in Syria, where the two helped to broker a ceasefire in the country's south. Over in Asia, the Russian government has voiced their concern over Washington's rhetoric regarding North Korea. President Putin himself warned that North Koreans would rather eat grass than give up their nuclear weapons. As it stands today, there is zero proof that Putin's government undermined America's election in 2016 in order to elect Donald Trump. Democrats have to find a new hobby horse to ride.